Hello people, it's Cole. This week we'll be flipping through First Faces. Halloween is just around the corner after all. First Faces is a step-by-step -step face painting book for beginners. <laughs> it was published in 1995 by, uh, by Snazaroo. <laughs> we'll find out who Snazaroo is. Uh, I'm here for you every Sunday with a new vintage book or magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. Hi. Okay. So on the cover, <laughs> it is a clown, of course. An iconic face painting concept. Interesting, uh, the, the paint is very sort of sparse, really. You can see the skin kind of right through it. It is for beginners, so I guess we're not expecting too, too much out of the application. But also down here, we have a, a Gar garden, cross-eyed garden girl with a bee on her nose <laughs> and this kind of winterscape boy with a trendy k-pop hairdo wonderful this <laughs> parrot parrot girl it's really selling <laughs> the concept <laughs> uh, and a startled tiger girl as well with gray lips um, and then, unfortunately, obscured by this library barcode and sticker, there's like a tiger hand, like, <laughs> smearing across the page. This book not only is a book about face painting, it is also about body painting, which is where it really, like, really goes off the rails. <laughs> this book is from the Chicago Public Library. I did, I did visit my local public library looking for something fun for Halloween. It's very important to support your your libraries, folks. I do like that the um, abbreviation for <laughs> for Hamlin Park Branch Library is ham. So we have this ham stamp, ham contents in this book. Getting started, uh, which paints to use? Here's face painting kits, glitter sponges, brushes. I have only done face painting once ever. I certainly never had my own face painted. I would never do that. <laughs> I do not like this kind of thing on myself. I don't like things adhered to my skin. Stickers, things like that. No. Um, I did do face painting one time in an art, at an art fair called Art in the Park in <laughs> Petoskey, Michigan, where I grew up. My mom uh, runs the children's tent, and I did face painting for that. And that, what I remember very distinctly was that Children's faces are hairy. <laughs> they have like, I mean, anyone's face probably does, has like peach fuzz on it, like a little mini hairs on it. And that's, can pose problems when you're face painting because it's like the paint is like glooping into that hair and you have to like lay it flat. Uh, I remember that most clearly with the face painting. Oh, here's a little, here's the address for Snazaroo. Maybe this is kind of, it be, might be a helpful kind of insight into who the hell Snazaroo even is. If you can't find the materials you need, write us for a mail order catalog at this address. They're in the UK. You have to send a letter to the UK. Does that mean that they, do they produce face paint? Is that what it is? It's like a company that makes face paint? Okay, crazy clowns. So crazy. That's our cover kid this red wig <laughs> oh my very uh very sparse this wig is especially considering it's only covering up a ch child's head sequential imagery of how we get to this point some more minimalist clown face painting these are <laughs> like harlequin masks <laughs> which i like very very fun and graphic and sad also which is very funny as a halloween costume for children and there's a hand painting concept for a clown hand. Why not turn your whole hand into a clown? Why not? Animal magic. Okay, so we have some off-brand Winnie the Pooh faces over here. The black lips are really... Uh, <laughs> something's very scary and sinister about those. Also... <laughs> 
this really scary rabbit girl with these like flopping <laughs> uh, structureless teeth coming out. There is a Dalmatian. I don't know why her just got like blood sort of stains all around her mouth. She also seems to have blood spatters on her shirt. It's a little unnerving. And some more simple tattoo concepts. Sheep and bee. Ah, you can see the, the hair, the arm hair here, like I was talking about earlier, the, uh, the problem with painting on hairy children. Mmm, mighty monsters. <laughs> Great. This kid is really, like, giving it everything with these facial expressions. Oh my god. And then scary hands to match with these black nails. Oh, and they, like, deepened the, cr the creases in between the fingers to make them look, like, longer. It's kind of clever. The hand painting. I have a bit of a, have a, bit of a tough time with the hand painting. I <laughs> feel like that's kind of gross, because you can't wash your hands. If you are getting doing hand painting, Snow Queen. Oh wow! It is referring to the blue. I guess it didn't. I don't know what I thought it was, but it's calling them eyebrows, spiky eyebrows. There's some really <laughs> strong eyebrows. Uh, oh, and a finishing touch again. More hand paint. We have a a beautiful teardrop bracelet and a glitter ring. Oh, and glitter nail polish, of course. It's interesting to be a Snow Queen for Halloween. It's a winter look, but I guess this doesn't have to be specific for Halloween. You could get your face painted for any occasion. Oh, over here is a um, fiery gypsy princess. More of a minimalist look. She's got like a heavy blue winged eyeliner, black eyebrows, and some like begemmed coins across the head and red lips. I mean, it's kind of fun to use, be using like face paint as makeup paint. In the garden. Oh, it's a gnome. A little gnome. That is really cute. Freckles, red cheeks, little red nose, and a gross <laughs> curly beard. More eyebrows. Oh. This is probably the cutest one yet so far. So sweet. Here's a freaky butterfly. I don't like this big fat butterfly body across the nose there. It's not not my favorite. I also don't love the <laughs> somber expression. <laughs> she seemed happy all the way up through the very end. Hmm. In this little flower paint on one eye, it, it does look like my partner DJ a little bit reminds me <laughs> there's something in common. Pretty cute. He'd be very cute in a little butterfly flower face paint. Mmm, dangerous dinos. Okay. So this is... Did we not already have dangerous dinos? What was that? Oh, mighty monsters. Okay, this is a monster. This is a dino. Similar concepts. Holy shit. Oh my god, look at that. <laughs> When your eyes are open, the illusion doesn't work, but those are the eyes for the dino. More black lips. Really, uh, I don't know. This, the black lips on the children, it's really got, got me, me scratching my head. I kind of like it. I feel like I've not, never seen that before <laughs> with face painting, and, and they do it so um, freely in this book. This is really cute. Instead of painting a dinosaur's face, try painting the whole creature on your model's cheek. This was the kind of face painting that I did when I was doing face painting one time. It was like just a thing on the face, not like a full face that if only I had this book to help me, show me how. Ah, mm, that para girl. God, she should be on the cover. She's like really committed to the concept and I love it. And I love that it's kind of like Kind of like a full face, but kind of not. Sort of minimalist too with her skin coming through. She's so funny. <laughs> it is a parrot, right? Yes. A colorful parrot with a bold design. Indeed. And there's the tiger girl. I don't know why. <laughs> this, this like grimace through these white cracking lips. Save the world. And then her uh, end 
end result is just big eye like terror at becoming a tiger gray gray lips simply scenes this is parrot girl by the way she's become a uh, scorching desert sunset freaky uh, aquarium hand there's that antarctic boy from the cover i don't know why he was on the cover i don't feel like that's that strong of a look maybe i'm just offended that the the fun parrot girl is not on the cover. It's fine. <laughs> Here's a <laughs> Dutch. <laughs> Dutch inspired scene with a windmill and a tulip. Some red lips. And this freaky country bumpkin scene with the straw hat. I know that she is featured on the next page. Yes, there she is. I really like this one. I love the straw hat. Love the uh, daisy bracelets and really isn't this like giving you like sally from the nightmare before christmas with this i know it's supposed to be like a fence like like a wooden fence posts but it's like her face is like stitched in half <laughs> with big stitches and these colors and like sort of like feminine but grotesque feels like sally right so here's the hand painting the whole hand painting thing um, uh, ugh. I, as I mentioned, I don't like this idea very much, but no matter. So we have ghost, silly, um, silly face. This is kind of cool. I do like this, like, Jetsons watch concept. It's kind of nice. That's not on the hands. So you can still wash your hands and stay sanitary and safe while having a painted body. Rainbow stripe, abstract, stained glass window hand, purple people eater, tiger hand, fingerless glove. Ooh, this is kind of cool. I like the idea of the painting, like making sense on a hand specifically, like a glove, also with these um, little gems attached on there. I think that's quite successful. Legging it. <laughs> Leg painting. <laughs> Leg and foot painting. Um, injured boy or girl, fool yourself into thinking you've hurt yourself with these colorful cuts and bruises. They are easy to do with a little red and black paint. So this, I don't know why this kid has to wear Ooh. this like share wig to be beat up looking, but they're doing it. Ow. Painted on band-aid, bloody nose, black eye, bruises, cut like open, unstitched uh, <laughs> wounds. Gross. I, I don't like that. So here's our foot concepts. Toe socks. Ugh. Ooh, this is kind of cool. This is like a like a dancer, dancer foot, some ribbon ribbon toes. <laughs> I really like the uh, painting of the fingernails and the toenails just with the regular face paint. And this tiger foot and this dragon dino foot I'm not sure what this is supposed to be this is like a just like a mary jane shoe or something a tap shoe if you're so okay i guess here's one thing about having your foot painted that means that you are barefoot right wherever you're going to be you're not wearing shoes because your feet are painted so where do where like where, <laughs> where does this make sense to do i don't know I guess somewhere where you can trust you're not going to step on a broken bottle or a hypodermic needle. Oodles of doodles. <laughs> There's the cross-eyed bee nose girl. I do, I do like the bee, the bee on the nose. Very funny, and she's she's selling it with her little expression. There's a rainbow face. This little boy is so cute. Brave warrior. Will our brave warrior free himself from this deadly snake? And he's like, strongman posing. Paint this ugly ogre on your hand to scare all your friends. It's terrifying. Hmm, here's some doodle concepts, a whole encyclopedia of doodle concepts we can pull from. I do like this holly leaf and berries. That's pretty cute. Doing some face painting for Christmas. Also this red candle. That's nice. 
Well, lastly, we're already at the end. <laughs> that was fast. <laughs> lastly, we're at finishing touches. That's the clown wig. We're pulling it out of this yucky trunk. <laughs> Here's like a animal suit with a policeman hat. Isn't there like a Muppet that looks like this? It's like a Fozzie Bear, but he's like a police officer. Doesn't that happen in one of the Muppet movies or something? On the back, some gross things that were in the book. This Argyle sock foot just sticking down there. Our monster face, our stained glass hand. It also says there's other Snazaroo titles to collect. Fantastic faces and five minute faces. So I'm, I'm guessing these are more advanced level face painting concepts since this was for basic babies. Uh, well, there you have it. First Faces by Snazaroo. Well, I hope you enjoyed that flip through. And if you did, please leave me a comment. Let me know <laughs> which, which face or hand or foot painting you would want to have on yourself for Halloween. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next week with another new video. So until then, take care.